Okay, um, back to that. I'm probably not going to do this the best, but welcome to Raid Raid Shadow Legends. Wow, already messed up. I've been going through videos and something caught my interest. And I don't quite understand it. And let me show you what I mean. Well, my Galac. Actually, let's go to. No, that's this is fine. As you guys know, Gallic is technically a rare. And, and I've seen people doing this with many champions, and I don't understand it. That if it's not like Rhonda, Rhonda, you know, here, if it's not a legend, legendary, it's no good. Don't get me wrong. To me, Ronda is okay. Even this epic shaman is okay. I mean, it doesn't hit, hit like my garlic, but to me, he's better than any legendary that I've had so far. And yes, I'll admit, let me see here, by rank, by rarity, I pretty much only got the ones where you log in and get them. My luck on my draw has not been that good. But my thing here, here is that people would just throw champions like Garlock. Um, yeah. Like... A chaplain. Oh, where is he? He has to be down here somewhere. The witch hunter. Watch hunter. And there's one more here. Here. And then... Yield man. I'm probably pushing that one so bad. Just because they're not legendary. Now, I can kind of understand him, Common. But when you get up there with the champions, I don't understand why people are just throwing them away. Not bothering to do anything with them. I wonder. Yeah, I'm using you later. Like, oh yeah, I have these two in a team, and right now I would trust him over actually both of these, just so they can. Do half the damage. Thirteen. Twelve. Ten. Let's say with the plus fifteen to it, but got that plus sixteen. Mind you, I I know how to build him to a point because he was my first, but. To me, even she's even stronger. I would trust a shaman over Rhonda, over Delina. And I don't understand why people aren't making these. 
characters to hit like legendaries. If they want a legendary so badly. If you're going to do something like make these into food for your legendaries, start off at the bottom, the common, and just don't throw anything, I want to say anything above a common away because it's, you're just wasting your time. If, like, put this way, you treat your champions good, they treat you good. That's pretty much it. <laughs> it's like, I honestly, blows me away that people are doing that. No, I get, I get it. This isn't like a regular MMORPG or anything like that alliance. To the point where a legendary is the best you can have. That's not true here. That's not tr true at all. Truth. I know I'm gonna keep on coming back to him because technically he is my favorite. He is right now I'm gonna say my best champion I have here right now. And he's my attacker. He hits as hard as anything. He may not have the health part of Wander. Yeah, he sure as hell has the more of attack. The only thing I think Rondar has over him is speed. No, not even that. Here's the thing. Mm. Yeah, I want to see if I can see more of the back tattoo. Oh, I can. Alright, and see, I don't have him best way set up yet. Like, I have him for lifesteal. And then cruel. Attack, plus 15%, ignore 5% of the enemy's defense. And I, th and I will say this, this has saved my life many times. Oh, well, oh, yes. When he sorted out. And now the things I'm doing is with him is just Battle Stars. If you treat your champions like your own playstyle. And where is that? Tavern. We feel. There it is. And and I would I would honestly say, forget about this. If you're going to use this, use it as a starting point and go from there. And honestly. Like, a lot of this, I'm saying, is a good rating. Ah, uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is my... Not Demon Lord. Fire Knight. He is... Let me see here. Is... Fantastic. Fire Knight. Um, what is the sp um, do -do 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 -do. Uh, 
Where are you? He's good here too at the uh, Skolem. But, oh yeah, the Spider Den. If you have him with a good team, he'll demolish. Maybe I should probably go through them all. Right here. He attacks the one two times. Now with that attack of 20, oh, 27, not 26, 2680, well 2680. And I will say this right now, which one is it? I think this one? Yeah, the attack. And then the plus 11%. Sometimes it seems like it's not here, but then at other times it seems like it is. What I mean by that is sometimes it's like right here where it is, like it's added onto this. But then there's times I'm like, it's not, but it still shows when you got, take him to battle. All right, yeah. Now with that 2,000, 2,600, 700. Oh my god, my memory's not that good. Six, yeah, seven. I'm just gonna say 27. With that 27 of attack. And with the uh, 25% bonus to it. There's times where I've seen this guy hit, let's say, a good chunk of his life to the point where I've seen him hit over and over and get all the way back to full health. I am not ever worried about him. He is always my last one standing up in a fight. Um, attack all enemies. Has a f has an extra 15% 15, 15 chance to inflict and critical hit. That... That's... Don't worry about that. That a critical hit is a critical hit. Place a 30% increased speed buff on this champion for two turns. Now, the one thing I kind of want them to add on to him for seven, like level seven, is a way to make that two turns. So you keep on can keep on doing it every two turns. But the 25% damage boost. There you go. That's golden. Here. Attack four times at random. Has a 30 chance of placing a 30% decrease, decrease defense. Uh, debuff, for debuff for two turns. Here's the thing about that. That works wonders. As soon as this, he makes your defense go down, you're in trouble. Because, hold on, we'll read the rest of this before I continue with that. Has a 30% chance of placing a 60% to decrease defense debuff for two turns if the target has more than two debuffs. I don't have him with debuff people, so that doesn't usually happen. Now, with all of that, with the 10%, 20% damage, and the 
I'm gonna guess add it onto both of these. Or well, all three. But here's the thing. I know I did that with all that. I'm ignoring 5% of its defense already per attack. It's a plus 15. Now, is there a better, let's say, secondary for this guy? Probably. But I like it because already that's gonna hurt. Let alone his. Oh, yeah. Increase ally HP in all battles by 15%. When I'm able to find a blessing for him, honestly don't know what I'm going to give him. Oh, I know that he can only have rare. I kind of wonder if this would work with lifesteal. This one, Hero's Soul, would be a nice one to put on him. Because if I'm having him go to dungeons constantly, I think I can help this guy out. Now, where is he? See, what I'm trying to do, factions, what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to make a faction of just him and other orcs. Because they hit quite well. He hits double. He hits for two. Wait, one. Where is it? For four turns. Not to you, where's your brother? There you go. No. Am I just blind today? I think so. Maybe he is the only one. Nope, there's one. Work for you. That's a nice one. I don't think I want another attack with that. Now with her. I have... Divine Offense. might take that off. Yeah, maybe not. Oh, that reminds me, now I see that. With his masteries. Mm -hmm. I have com combat damage, plus 10%. Crit rate by 5. Max HP by 810. Healers champion by 10% if their max HP the first time an enemy is killed each round. Which, you know, lately he's 100% when the first one goes down, anyway. Increases ACC by 20 when the champion has no skills on cooldown.
I don't see many people making it through him. Let's see here. Nice little pop up. Um. Uh, let me see here. Let's take a run. Um. No, you are not going in there. Actually, I might take you two out. Put you in there. I need you because you're my only healer right now I know about. I think about. Um, actually, yeah. Let's put the two of you in. Let's go in there. See if it's auto run, so do I got to change it into one? Let me see. Here. Low levels, yes, I know, but each one of those counters that attack back to his health. Stage five, six, and probably can go higher than that. But let's see here. Spirit Keeper clothes. Spider. Does Spider has something right now? Yeah. How? Because that's got chains. All right. Mm -hmm. No, her. I think she has like a bolt in there or something like that that makes them all attack her at once. I think I might change her to all health.
that because I don't have much of that stuff. That's the thing, like, yeah. My next thing with him is for us to try, me, to try to get to the banners. Because that's the only thing that he's missing, is a banner. And to be able to go through these without worrying about it. Um, I like with the ice golem. Get her where the her keep on healing. Good start. But like I said, like everybody is going down, but yeah. I know I still have a lot to do with, I want to say these four. Yeah, that's one thing, right? You rare champion, don't treat him expendable. Don't treat any of your champions expendable. I know it may not look like they're have a purpose, but they do. Like your common champion. Like him. I'm gonna have him. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I quit before. Helping me farm. Campaign. Him with four, four, three to four others. And see where that goes. And we'll see when it happens when it comes. Uh, what's the other one I was getting mixed up? Yeah, the other one I was getting mixed up with an orc. Okay. But just go out there and have fun with the game.
but yeah, like I said, that's just the recap. Don't treat a mech like all expendable or not. Because it's just like, oh no, that's a rare and uncommon whatever they are. Yeah, uncommon. It, it's, it's gonna make you lose a lot of good fighters that could have helped you. <laughs> and as well. This, like I said before, this is a good starting point build off of it. All of this I want to say is mostly hearsay. Like your own point of view. Because this isn't so if you don't know, this is not the game we're eating it. The devs, it's us. I wonder, what do people don't think you're good at? Eh. Spider Dead. Mm, I can see that because you you do the aggro. How um, about you? Arena Defense, I don't exactly agree with that, but... Um... Twin Fortresses. Eh. We'll see. Um, before, take a look at the time. Okay, make it a short one. Uh, where is it? Right now, they're doing a thing. And I hate to say this, but I think this is only for PC users. The um, bottom low. Bottom is, I think, is only for you PC users. You still get the top one for handheld. Okay. Um. On that note, let me try my luck with two of them. Oh, a W. Place sleep on uh, debuff on one target for one turn. Hit is critical hit. Ooh. That's not bad. If I make you. Correct. Okay, yeah. Hmm. Ooh, demon spawn. Looks like it's five, not two. Chance plays in freeze. So why like a complete freeze crew? I. Yeah, you know. Some of these I might actually 100% agree with. I haven't fought the Hydra in a long time. Um, it's personal, I think. I don't exactly like the Band of Lords. But that's personal. Come on. Hmm. 
know. Attack enemy two times. Two times. Has a fifty chance of breaking a critical hit. All fills this champion to a meter by fifteen percent on each critical hit. Now, that's worded quite weird. <laughs> because might have something to do with the second one, but I'll fold off on that right now. Attack one enemy twice, which is fine. I found quite a bit, well, not quite a bit, but some heroes, bow and arrow people that hit the enemy twice. Has a has an extra 15% chance of inflicting a critical hit. Crit 15. So I want what did that award it to me? As this is now 30%. Because of that. Um fills this champion to a meter by 15% on each critical hit. On each. Which the way it, I understand, I'm understanding how it's worded. Is is that maybe it gets the hit more than once, or is that hit the meter is now 15 15 percent full, and then it hits again, and now it's 15 percent more. I'm like. Okay, number two. Attack all enemies t two times. Which, hey, that's not bad. Has a 10% chance of placing a 15% decrease speed debuff for one turn. Um, one cooldown, so let's say that's every three turns. There you go. But either way, that's. I would hope something would make the would make this little part right here make more sense. But that does sound like it has more than one go through. Ooh, are you one that's Alright, nope. Has a triple chance of placing a 30% decrease defense debuff for two turns. Oh. oh, oh, that's okay. What are you? Sacred order. You guys aren't that bad. Um, oops, oops. it tells me that if you see thirty percent, thirty-five. What I have, but which one does this go to? Nope, I'm guessing this is 40 45. Yeah, that sounds like it goes here. That's the way it reads. Along with 25 more damage, so I could all the way down. That could be dangerous. We you know it's a common, which means holy crap. So I think what I'm gonna do is start off on normal with the campaign. And go from there. And of course I'm Bandlewood. Has a chance to play a freeze debuff for one turn. See that's one thing, like to me the banner lords sound underpowered. You need like a buff to all of them. Oh, let me see. Oh, hello. Um. I do like the horns. Let's see here. Place an extra hit. If this attack is critical, mm. attack all enemies, break the next hit. Target less than 50% of it. 
hit. Each hit will ignore. That's not bad. I'll admit that one. So let's say I got this. So I'll be three turns. Not bad. Um, increase attack buff and has a crit on this champion for three turns. So get that down to four. Then they then grant an extra turn. That's not bad. Okay, let's say yeah, just get this down to every four turns. Whenever an ally is killed, it should instantly activate the Hap Hike Scorn skill. Will not put this skill on cooldown. If there is a multiple champions on your team with this skill, only one will activate. Okay. So way that sounds to me is like when one of my champions go down, this activates and it's he's able to attack all enemies. Not bad actually, but but not put it on cooldown. So it happens, but it doesn't. Let's see here. Okay, I can see she has talent. Ooh, the buff for one turn after that second hit. Not bad. I can see that well, with the 60% and the 20% damage buff. Attack one hit, maybe send. Okay, I kind of expected that to be um, crept a faction. Let me see that. But like, yeah, attack one enemy, damage based on attack. So pretty much, where's my attack? Attack plus twenty percent. Depends all it is. Um. Attack all enemies have a 7% chance of stun. Um, HP debuff turn on enemies on their stun. I think that, that would be good with 30% chance. Or 30% damage. So I think it, they could add a, like a cooldown. Maybe just one, like at a four. And I can increase magic ally attack. Increase a magic ally attack in all battles by 36%. So, any melee, melee people, unless you're talking about like magic weapons. Um, ooh, I like that. I don't mind the Dark Elves. Did I, do that? Did I just move back there? So I saw that little twitch and I'm like, okay. Um, attack enemy four times has a 20% chance of 60%. Decrease two buffs. Attack enemy four, four times at random. Each hit has a 35% chance of placing a leech. Every three turns. That's not. I'm like, I'm happy with that one. I think maybe I should make. Like. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, this is a three. Whenever any replaces a stun, freeze, or sleep, or provoke debuff on this champion, instantly remove the debuff and heal this champion by 20% of their maximum hit health. 
Hit points. I'm in boost near turn. Need it by 50. That makes this champion correctly. And it's an attack champion. Makes this champion like holy crap. But the champ that dudes like that will take time. You cast can't plop armor or equipment on them and be like, there you go. All enemies increase its current turn meter by 15%. Yeah. Then attack the target enemy. Enemies killed by this skill cannot be revived. That could make the shaman like useless or others. And every four turns. Like I would say, every time this goes off, or you want to use it, you use it. Oh, I was looking for that, like, yeah. Hoping for skin. Okay. Void, void. Nice. I'm not gonna go read these. I'm a little bit over anyway. Because I want to look at something or bring something up before. Yeah. Right? Where is it? Maybe let's take a look at you guys. Attack all of it. Like, this is one of the. I love the fact that this is her basic attack. Okay, here's the lowest by 50 25%. That would be five turns. Ten, let's see. 30, 40, 50, 60 percent of their max HP. Not bad. Yeah, I kind of agree. I kind of figured there was a downside to this. I don't like faction trips. Hold on, move here. Move here. Nope, okay. Okay. Nice. One attack all. How some of them look. Yeah, okay, like I like how that's the main attack, like attack everybody. Like to me, if you hit everybody or you can attack someone twice or more than just once, you're a good fit. But yeah, I know. I gotta get rid of some champions. Let's see here. What's Dubai? What a death knight. Hmm. Oh, season six is live. Which I'm liking this because, like, you take a look, there's no shards or anything like that here. Like, I think there should not be. So, oh, wait, it's up here. 
being plus 12, you can own 20% of the enemy's defense, which is not bad at all. Tournaments. Later, it's gonna be done to what all this time. Um. Okay. Now with this, the points and all that. I think I'm in the wrong place. Ah, uh, you go here in the point program. And there you go. I think after a little bit I got the first one, no problem. But part of me don't know how many shards I actually need before I get what I want, but yeah. Okay. On that, I will see you guys later.